आइजून का और द प्रोडक्शन लेवलिंग सो एज द डिमांड टेंड्स टू फ्लक्चुएट यू नीड टू डिफाइन ए टैक टाइम फॉर कीपिंग अप विद द फ्लो ऑफ ऑर्डर्स एंड येट अवॉइड द ओवर प्रोडक्शन टू हेल्प यू स्टिक विद इट लीन हैज अ मैथड कॉल हाइजून का and that allows you to optimize your capacity in the most appropriate way to meet the demand so in this video we are going to look at what is hyjunka how can we level the production by either by volume or by type and we will look at some examples as well so please watch this video till the end forget to like comment and share with all your friends as well and in case if you are visiting my channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe as well and to hit that bell icon as well for all the notifications from digital e learning on my upcoming next videos Hello and welcome back to yet another video series from Digital E Learning. I hope you will like this video. So, what is Hyjunka? Hyjunka is a Japanese word for leveling production. The distinction between leveling demand and production leveling is important because we cannot control demand. What we can control is the rate of workload. That is information, raw material. finish good or act or the actual production hyjunka is a lean method used to leverage production and establish a continuous flow of work it is a bridge between how the customers order and how the lean company operates it can help you react to the demand changes and utilize your capacity in the best possible way hyjunka helps avoid the inefficiencies of manufacturing in large lot by putting the production process closer in line with the customer demand the objective of hyjunka is to absorb the sudden fluctuation in the market demand the flexibility that hyjunka insists bring three benefit to the manufacturing one is the predictability happens when the demand is level flexibility achieved by reducing the change over time stability average production volume on type over the long term hyjunka is a work around for uneven demand it is a bridge between how the customer orders and how the lean company operates it helps avoid inefficiencies in manufacturing by putting the production process closer in line with the customer demand how to implement hyjunka the objective of hyjunka is to absorb the sudden fluctuation in the market demand the framework for any hyjunka implementation should begin with tag time and end with hyjunka box that is the first step in leveling production to match the customer demand this is what the customer buying rate is or the time it takes to finish the product to meet the customer demand matching the production rate to meet the customer demand help create manufacturing process that is free of bottleneck so where do you see hyjunka in the toyota house so the hyjunka is the foundation of lean the tps that is a total production system is often represented by the house and what is the most important part of the house the foundation and hyjunka is the foundation of Toyota production house. So there are two methods of leveling production in Hyjunka: leveling by volume and leveling by product or type. So in the coming slides, we will see how can we level by volume and how can we level by product or type using some examples. Let us see what is first leveling by volume means. leveling production by volume is essentially leveling it by average volume of the orders you receive to level production by volume or quantity a tag time must be established let us look at this through some example suppose you receive hats order of around 500 per week out of which you receive 200 units on monday 100 units on tuesday 50 units on wednesday 100 units on thursday and again 50 units on friday so instead of using to meet the demand in sequence of the orders the ad producer will use hyjunka leveling by volume to fulfill this demand so he will produce a average of 100 hats per day 
to fulfill the requirement for Monday, he will keep 100 in inventory so that on every day he will have to produce only 100 hats. So for Monday, production of 100 hats plus inventory of 100 hats will suffice his requirement for Monday. For Tuesday, he doesn't need any inventory, so only daily production will be sufficient for Wednesday. His requirement is only 50, but he is producing 100, so 50 will be stock as inventory. Again, for Thursday, no inventory is required. For Friday, he will produce 100, but he will stock 50 as inventory. So, so the inventory of Friday and Wednesday will add up to inventory that will be you will consume on Monday. Now let us see what is leveling by product or type. Leveling production by type allows you to level production based on average demand for each product in the portfolio and organize your work around it. The principle stays the same. You create enough of each good to meet the average customer demand for product portfolio. Let us look through this some example. Suppose we have a customer demand of three different types of hat, blue, red and green. And the quantity that we need as per customer demand are 4, 3 and 2 respectively. Now as a mass producer, they will produce these hats in this sequence. So he will produce as blue, 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 then we will go for red. And finally green but a lean producer which will level by product on type will produce in this sequence blue blue red red green blue blue red red and green so that is leveling by product or type hijinka box a hijinka box is a scheduling tool used to visualize the work item that needs to be completed to meet your average customer demand. It serves as a way to visualize product demand and determine the optimum sequence and the mix of product to be produced. A typical hygiene cup box looks like this. A hygiene cup box is basically a combination of horizontal rows that represents the each product of a product portfolio and while the vertical columns are the dedicated to each day of the work. Each box serves as a container for scheduling work item that the team needs to complete. The Hijunka box contains the Kanban cards that indicates which type of product and in, in what quantity will be produced per production interval. Depending upon your talk time, you may need to place a multiple or number of orders in each box. In the Toyota production system, each item in the Hijinka box is a Kanban card that later goes through this manufacturing process steps. It serves as a way to visualize product demand and determine the optimum sequence and the mix for product to be produced. Let us now see some of the benefits and drawbacks of this methodology. So first look at, we'll start with benefits. So flexibility to make what customer wants and when they want. It presents stable demand to suppliers. Reduces the risk of unsold goods. Balance the use of labor and machine. Reduction in the lead time. Now let us look at some of the drawbacks of this methodology. It limits the rapid adjustment. Hajunka requires industrial discipline. Production sequence may be disrupted due to the fluctuation in demand. So let us do a quick recap of what we have learned today. So Hajunka is a lean method for leveraging production. The objective here is to observe the sudden fluctuation in the market demand. It is basically a technique for reducing Mura, that is unevenness, which in turn reduces Mura, waste and Muri over burden. So that is all I have on this video on Hijinka, the art of levering production. I hope now you have a good understanding on this topic.
Now you can follow digital e-learning on other social media platforms like Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Telegram, Facebook and Twitter and link for all these social media platforms is given below in the description you can check out those and you can follow us on all these social media platforms from all the updates from digital e-learning. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share with all your friends and colleagues and do comment below. Your comments are really motivating. Thank you. Thanks for watching Digital e-learning. Have a fantastic day ahead.